Hello dear friends, welcome to another session of the Woodpecker Method. We will solve puzzles together. Hopefully it will improve our calculation skills and also our visualization skills, which both are really important in chess. If you have any ideas or questions, just feel free to write into the chat or in a comment and send me if you have any questions also. So why to move? If we are in a good mood, then we can see the G4 queen looks kind of trapped. So let's take a look how can we attack it. What if we attack it with the H3? You can take on g2, but that looks kind of trap because rook h2, yeah, rook h2 wins the queen. After h3, what other squares? If queen h5, then g4, and the queen is trapped. That's it, h3 captures them. He wins it. Takes, then it's a nice finish with the queen da checkmate. And so it wins the queen. And if he moves here, then g4, and the queen has no squares to move, so white wins. Let's go for the next one. And the next one, white to move. Hmm. What do we recognize? What I recognize the bishop's diagonal. It's a check. Also the knight may give some checks. Those are the things to recognize immediately. Hmm, what else to do? What else or how to use those ideas? Material wise is equal, material is equal, that the black king is in a sharp position. Yeah, knight c6 is pretty good actually because that blocks the, the file, so... Bishop takes c6, then bishop takes c5, check, that looks pretty strong, then king e8, then we can take on c6 because the queen will be overloaded. Yeah, that's it. Takes, then that's a check. Wins the piece. And if he takes, then it's, it's a checkmate. Actually, we need to take it. Yeah, and it goes for a checkmate actually. Okay, so nice night. C6 is closing the file. Let's go for the next one. Next one. So what to do here? White to move. Hallelujah. Thank, thank you very much for following. Thank you very much. The king looks like in, in kind of like in a trouble. Yeah, the knight, the bishop, rook is looking over the king. So let's look the possible 
sacrifice like queen take g6, pawn take g6, f7 check, looks strong, king d8 is the only square, then we get a queen on f8, rook takes f8, rook takes f8, that's a checkmate, wow. So it looks like after queen takes g6, he cannot take on f on g6, but he should do something like queen, maybe queen e6 to protect, but then queen g7, but he cannot save the rook. Let's look at the solution. Capture. Yeah, if it takes that, uh, it's a checkmate. And then and queen g7 is just a strong threat. Ah, maybe actually after can castle long. So queen e6 f in the, and if queen g7 then black castle is long to at least save the room. But then the f7 pawn will be also falling. Let's go for the next one. White to move again. So material wise, white is up pawn. The eight seven rook is attacking the bishop. The other bishop, the knight, they, they are on the file. Actually, there is a fork with the bishop bishop on e6, just that I can see also that what is maybe just playing d6. Bishop takes this and then bishop e6. d6 is forcing to open the seventh rank and then the bishop comes. It also opens up for the bishop and makes this a double attack, meaning the rook or the knight. Okay, let's go and look next one. The next one again, white to move, white to move. Through the white, the black king looks like in a bit bad shape. Also the queen is unprotected. Maybe knight e6 check and then bishop a5 opening up the discovered attack, yeah. If king e8 and knight c7 checkmate, that's so beautiful, wow. That's so beautiful. And if captured, check with the queen. Okay, let's go for the next one. Next one. Ooh, black king looks kind of nearly like a checkmate. Yeah, he can go to d8 still. Knights are strong. How is the material? Material is actually black is up pound, two pounds, not well, just one pound. Black is a pawn, but, but, those knights are very strong. Like in the forks with the knights, it's also interesting, like knight g6 fork. I would think about knight e6 actually. Knight g e6, pawn takes, then knight g6 check, and the knight takes h8. That just looks good. Okay, knight g e6, if he's not taking, then the rook is hanging, the rook needs to move, and then we take on g7. Yeah, that looks good.
can always shoot. Have the night to be taken in six actually. So actually, I think to take an e six in the night f seven, but it does not good enough because from night to f seven is there's no square to go out. Maybe f four f five. Now e5, no. Bishop d3 check. What if he goes away? You can just save it. Oh, but then C4 check. No, it's not to be careful. Checkmating ideas. I take the d6. Yeah, those are. Ah, uh, rook e3, maybe. Rook F3 checkmate is threatening. Ooh, this is nice. Wow, check and it's a checkmate on H5. Wow. Wow. What can I say? This is so nice. If he tries to stop it, yeah, and the knight has seven comes. Yeah, and this is good. Yeah, of course, he should not take on e6 here, but uh, something like knight f6. And white, is, white should be better because of equal material and still more active pieces, but it's playable for black. Okay, let's go for the next one. White, oh, wow, it looks nearly like a checkmate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, black is turning to checkmate white also with queen a1, but the black king looks also kind of naked. Good question, how to proceed here. First knight c7 check, but I leave king e7 and queen d6 checkmate. Ooh, this is nice. Knight c7, king f8, queen d6 check. Knight e7 blocking the king's 
escape and then queen d8, queen sacrifice, knight takes, rook takes, checkmate. Wow, this is nice. Yeah, if you move here, then it's a checkmate on d6. There and this count, this is so beautiful. Check. So it's forcing black to create a blockage for himself. <laughs> and then comes the sacrifice. Oh, beautiful. Let's go for the next one. White to move. Black has an extra pawn, but also the d4 knight is pinned because the b6 queen is unprotected. Also, the black king is a little bit opened compared to the white king. Hmm. How to do something here? If you look for the knight, wow, knight d6, Oof, so beautiful, man. wow. I just, just started to look the the moves which go forward, <laughs> knight d6 is one of them, but that's so beautiful because if rook takes this, is then queen e8 checkmate. Uh, other way, the queen takes, uh, sorry, rook takes d4 is a big threat. It's something like c5 to protect the knight, then rook takes, pawn takes, queen e6 check, and that will be like a smother mate. Yeah, if you capture this, let's just first, and this is a nice checkmate. Probably this is the best move for black. And yeah, white should be still better with the knight against the two pawns, but this would be more challenging. C5 instead of take. Captures and check. This is what we call the smother mate. Check. Sacrificing the queen. And then the lonely knight gives the checkmate for the king. Yeah, if he goes any time to f8, then the checkmate comes on f7. Okay, nice, so knight d6. Let's go for the next one. White to move. It looks like white sacrificed the knight for two pawns, plus the black king is in a shaky position.
but need to play probably energetically because of the way he may escape. <laughs> Somehow need to drive maybe the pieces against the king. I think to play d5 actually, pawn d5. If queen takes d5, then bishop e4, pinning the queen, pinning and winning the queen. If king takes d5, then queen h1, check to bring the queen to the game, then king c5, then bishop e3. Oh, that's nearly a checkmate. Yeah, bishop d4, bishop takes d4, it's a checkmate. So after d5, probably he cannot take it. You should play with king b6, then bishop e3 check. If c5, then queen d8 check. Going to win the. Probably the knight on g8 after queen c7. So c5, d5, king b6, bishop e3 check. King a5, okay, then b4 check, king a4, hmm. wow. No, actually, I have a better idea. So instead of b4 check playing pawn g5 open up for the queen, so then in queen b4 check, maybe that should be good. Okay, that's it. So if the queen takes instead, then we should be four. That's clear. With the queen, if the king takes, Nice check made with the two bishops and the queen working together. Okay, let's try it. Okay, if king d7, actually, that's a thing which I did not really calculate. What's going on here? Ah, thank you very much, John. Thank you very much. Our rookie six. So we are avoiding knight f6 or bishop f6, knight e7, and then we want to push the pawn f6, then bishop f5. That should be winning. But the really question is here, then the bishop is coming. Okay, this, this looks good. But my question was actually, what if he plays queen a5? I 
Queen g5, this plan of Queen b4 checkmate. But c5 is the only way to corn and take this away. Yeah, wow, that's interesting. It cannot pre prevent now queen, queen b4 checkmate. Okay, nice. So it's looking in the big, very beginning, so d5 to open up the win time with the check and open up for the bishop. The e3, b6 diagonal. Okay, let's go for the next one. Black to move. My first idea is knight takes d4 because the f3 knight is pinned so he cannot take because then the d1 queen is hanging. And if queen takes d4 then bishop c5 pins and wins the queen. Probably that's it. Yeah, and black is more active. So the queen takes, then bishop c5 wins the queen. If knight takes, then queen takes, queen wins the queen. So actually d4 was not really defended. Interesting, yeah, bishop takes f4 is the best move, which That's a good question, which is the best way to... Bishop c5 looks just nice to continue the development. And the knight e6. Some moments even the knight can go to f5 or to g4. This is just strong enough. Okay, let's go for the next one. White to move. What I recognize is the d5 bishop is super strong. Material is equal. White has a pair of bishops. F7 square is critical, B7 pawn, A7 pawn, those are or fixed and under attack. The D8 knight defending very well, bravely defends everything. So yeah, the question is how to go forward from here. And do you have any idea? Well, 
Okay, bishop takes eight six actually that's it. Because knight f6 four of course so that's an idea. And if g takes f6 g takes eight then knight f6, yeah. So this means a pawn. Because if he captures then white means the rook for the bishop. Okay, let's go for the next one. White to move. Okay, now black has an extra pawn. White is a nice knight, also white has probably a better king. What else is there? D8 bishop is attacked once, defended twice. G7 pawns attacked once, defended twice. H7 attacked once, defended once. Hmm. This fork or this skewer, like bishop f4, the rook and the queen. But actually, the knight is just takes it, so probably it's not so good. Hmm. E4 pawn is attacked once, defended twice. Ooh, I see now, wow, wonderful. Yeah, there's this geometry. G7 pawn, yeah, and uh, h3, so rook d7, because that square is kind of protected in, in, indirectly, because if queen takes d7, the knight h6 check, pawn takes and queen takes d7, means the queen, but if the queen need to move, the rook takes g7, king h8, queen takes h7, checkmate. Oh, that's nice, so, rook d7. Wukui, thank you very much for the follow, thank you very much. So let's look what's going on here. Takes check. Cannot do much actually. If he moves the queen, and to save the queen, then then the check not, it comes here. Okay, let's go for the next one. Black to move. Black to move. Wow. Looks like the white king is nearly checkmated. Yeah, white has an extra bishop actually. Or just one pawn, so it is up material, but the white king is so weak. The question is how to use that advantage. The G file was open. So something like rook g6 looks also pretty strong. Rook g6 check, bishop g3 blocks. Rook takes g3, pawn takes g3. Queen takes g3. King F1. Huh. And let's see a follow up there. Yeah, there is no check on A6. So what should black do here? Mm. 
Rook takes e1 check, we need to consider that also the, the, the knight takes back. Hmm. Ooh, I can I think I realize I found it. Rook G six check. Bishop G three. Bishop Rook takes G three pawn take G three. And there comes the magic. F two check. The queen cannot take because then queen h1 checkmate. If the king takes, then queen g2 check, king e3, and then queen f3 checkmate. Wow, 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 wow. That's so beautiful. And after rook g6, if king f2. <laughs> then we can do rook g2 check, king e3 and then rook takes queen that should be winning the question if there is something like a direct checkmate probably not but this is so beautiful f2 and checkmate comes the queen takes And queen h1 checkmate. If king f2. Ah, yeah, and then maybe even F2 check we can do. Ooh, this looks super strong. Look what this knight <laughs> that is the queen. Wow, 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 wow. This was beautiful. Let's look one more, one more, one more for today. Thank you very much for the follow. Thank you very much. One more thing. Bishop b4 looks like a super strong move, like a skewer. So maybe actually black can play something like d5, but then d5, c5, d4. Yeah, let's play d5 here. Yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. The opening for the pin of bishop for bishop b4. Takes them with the queen. Yeah, he can try to go out. It is hard for him to make a move, maybe probably this is the best one. Yeah, and black is up a pound and, and also have a good position. It's really interesting. The best move for white is actually to 
sacrifice the queen for two pieces. Yeah, of course, black should be better, but it's interesting. This is not that easy because white has the pair of bishops, and after knight takes b5, one more, one pawn, and the pair of bishops for the queen. Okay, wonderful. Hope you enjoy the puzzles and we'll watch some more soon. Try to use these ideas in your own games, that's, that's the point. But of course just watching and enjoying the motifs that's also joy for the soul, but you can Try to use it and put it into practice in your own games. I think that's the best use of your time. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for the support. Thank you if you follow the channel or subscribe. Or thank you for the donations. You can find also a link in the chat and also in the description of the video. See you soon.